Hi guys, Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Those of you who watch my channel know that I generally wash my hair with conditioner, but once every 10 to 12 days, I do like to wash my hair with a sulfate-free shampoo or sometimes a sulfate shampoo. And today was my wash day, so I wanted to show you guys my wash day routine video. Yeah. Before I get to the video guys, you might notice that today my hair is like a little bit fluffier and even a little frizzier than it normally is and it's because today I wash my hair with shampoo instead of conditioner and I do do this every 10 to 12 days and it keeps my hair from being too weighed down looking. Um, now the day after wash day, this is my least favorite hair. Some of you have said that you like my hair when it's a little bit fluffier and a little bit more natural looking, but I like a more defined look. But anyway, this is what my hair looks like on wash day. I'm gonna show you my routine. And if you're curious as to what my every single day hair routine is, so the other, you know, 10 days before I do my wash day are like, I do the exact, exact same thing. The only difference is that instead of washing my hair with shampoo, I wash my hair with the same conditioner that I condition my hair with. Anyway, here comes the video. So guys, the first thing I do is I'm going to wet my hair. I basically saturate my hair with water. Um, I'm not going to edit much out of this video. As you can see, this video is only about five minutes long, but I'm going to keep it sort of true to exactly what I do because I find when I leave things out, you guys always ask me questions about them. So. Here is me just saturating my hair and I'm using warm water. For shampoo right now, I'm using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. I'll link it below. This is a sulfate free shampoo. I find every once in a while I mix it up and I will use a sulfate shampoo and give my hair like a really good scrub. I might do this like once every two months. And I don't know, I just find it gives me like it clarifies my hair and just makes my hair feel lighter and less producty. I do put shampoo on the ends. This is exactly how I shampoo my hair. So I really scrub my scalp and then I do shampoo the ends. Now I am rinsing my hair again with warm water. Once my hair is completely, completely rinsed, I am going to condition my hair. I part my hair on either side and I use this method for detangling. So this is the conditioner I've been using for like the last three months. This is the Tresemme Botanicals conditioner. Um, I will say that for those of you who have like lighter, fluffier hair, this conditioner is a little tiny bit heavier than one that I was using in the past, but I don't find it too heavy. So anyway, I just slap it on my hair. I don't put it right on the roots. I put a generous amount on like either side of my hair that I've sectioned into two sections there. Get her on there. And like you can see, I'm not going right, right to the roots. And then I use my fingers to detangle my hair. This conditioner has great slip, so I really don't have trouble detangling my hair with this conditioner. And that's one of the reasons I really started liking it. That and it's like super cheap. So I detangle both sides of my hair. And I do this relatively gently. I don't want to break off any of my hair. And that's one of the reasons I don't use a comb and I'd rather use my fingers. So then once I'm done detangling, I put my hair up like in a little bun on top of my head and just finish my shower. Once I'm done washing myself, I take my hair down out of my bun. I kind of part it on either side and I just scrunch the conditioner into my hair and I do like quite a bit of scrunching. So just a tiny bit more scrunching and then I'm getting ready to rinse my hair. I keep my hair parted on either side of my head like this for the rinsing. I put the tap on cold water and I very gently rinse my hair. So I only rinse my hair for approximately one minute. I let the cold water run over my head and down to the ends of my hair and it forms these like ropey clumps and this is what I want. Then I just scrunch out a tiny bit of the water, just one scrunch in each section and I get ready to apply my gel. My gel is my favorite gel. This is BioTerra by Naturel Pro. I'll leave a link in the description box. I use a generous amount and in two sections I apply it using the praying hands technique and I don't go right up to my scalp. This is exactly how I apply it every day. Um, and then I'll show you what I do for my scalp area. So look, I'm doing the other side of my hair now. Praying hands technique, nice and quick. And then when I scrunch it, I scrunch it up towards my scalp into my scalp so some of the gel water mixture is being applied directly onto my scalp but not as much as is in the ends. 
And guys, this is exactly, exactly what I do. Once I'm done scrunching, I do plop my hair in a t-shirt for five minutes. Then I take the t-shirt off and I air dry and that's it. So I hope you like this video. I hope it was helpful. You can give it a big thumbs up if you like it. You can give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel for more Curly Girl Method videos and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.